stop talking about this girl from uni. He was crazy about her. Jump forward a little bit down the road after they were dating and I went on a double date with the two of them. We went to bowling and TGI Fridays and I have to admit, sitting across from them at the table, I was a little bit envious. They couldn't keep their hands off each other and the way they looked at each other was with pure love and adoration. It was like something out of a romance movie that most people could only dream of having. It was clear to me that day that Joe was just as crazy about Matt as he was about her. I think everyone here can agree that Matt and Joe are still just as crazy about each other. The love for one another is clear to see and they make an incredible couple. Oh, in February, we're married. I remember when Joe first met Matt. They met at university in which she would refer to him as hat guy. <laughs> it must have been a really special moment and Matt, you must have made a really big impact because almost nothing could tear Joe's um, attention away from the iPhone game uh, Farmville. <laughs> there was one time though, Dad was on the couch watching his Greek TV shows as he would quite usually do. And suddenly Matt knocks on the door with his guitar. But keep in mind, Dad didn't know that they were in a relationship yet or that Joe had even met anyone. <laughs> and Matt began serenading Joe out the front of the house. <laughs> Romantic, I agree. But also a very stressful moment for me, Joe and Mum. <laughs> as we didn't want Dad to find out this way. <laughs> Luckily, Dad was so invested in his Greek TV shows <laughs> that he had no idea what was going on at the front of the house. And I think Matt was able to pull off something quite romantic. <laughs> as you all can imagine, Joe and I were inseparable growing up and nothing much has changed to this day. Even living apart, we still manage to see each other 95% of the time <laughs> through our lives. I've always admired your strength through any situation and your ability to succeed in anything you do. And I feel blessed that we've had each other to rise above in the toughest of times. The hardest was losing our dad. Joe, you're my rock. You are truly an inspiring woman and I constantly look up to you. There is an empty spot next to our mum, right here, where I know Dad is sitting. We can't see him, but we can certainly feel him here today. I just know he's sitting there in the seat, smiling from ear to ear, with a glass raised, just shouting with joy, and he certainly would have been breaking some moves on the dance floor earlier before. I don't want to end on a sad note because Joe and I are rarely ever serious about anything. But when I met Joe, it was at a difficult point in both our lives. I had just lost my mum that year and Joe had lost her dad not long before. It's very difficult to understand the pain of losing a parent so soon. <sighs> Jesus. It's hard to imagine growing up and getting older without them around. I truly believe Joe was a blessing that came into my life when I needed it most. I know your dad would be so proud of you for all that you are, as well as the life you have built with Matt. 
Whilst I'm sad that I never met him, I feel that I've known him all along as I know there's so much of him in you. You are an incredible human being and I love you so much. So here's to two beautiful people spending forever together. I wish you guys nothing but the best and all the love. So very importantly, I wanted to pay tribute to my dad, Demetrios, who's been being here today. Um, he loved a shot of ouzo every now and then. So you might notice you've got some ouzo sitting in front of you. Can I just please make a toast to him? Um, and just, you know, I know that he's here watching over us and I love him and miss him very much. So to Demetrios. What can I say? Who knew that the, the hat guy and the shy little Greek girl would be standing here today and um, having our marriage together? Uh, I feel so blessed and privileged to marry someone as amazing and caring and as beautiful as you are. You're my rock, you're my soulmate, you're my forever after. From the day we met at uni, I knew you were the one. From the day, uh, from the way you, uh, you laugh at my stupid jokes, our morning cuddles, you've changed my life in so many ways and I can't wait for the next tomorrow with you. I wish to end this short little speech just by saying thank you for giving us the opportunity and for giving me the opportunity to continually fall in love with you every single day. And I will forever try my hardest to make your mother and father as proud as, uh, as proud to be the best husband I can be. So once again, can I get everyone to raise their glasses? And this one is just specifically to my wife, Joanna. <laughs> Matt, you're the kind of man that would do anything for the ones that you love. So for this, I'm entirely grateful for because I know my cousin will always be taken care of to the best of your ability. Matt officially welcomes our family. Good night, how are we doing? Can you all hear really me? Can you hear me in the back? Good night. Grandad advises purchase of only an aluminium frying pan to begin with, as he can vouch that cast iron really hurts. <laughs> Time of my life, everything is going alright. I just made them look twice. This is how it feels when you're living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. Good, good life. Seems only yesterday. You were my pint-sized little milky bar kid nephew whose only dream was to do as many keepy-ups as your superstar uncle. <laughs> Myself and Sam wish you a fun-filled future together as husband and wife. Joe, I hope one day you'll have us around for dinner for that well-known Greek classic of tacos. <laughs> I want to say a big thank you to Joe because having Matt in your life, we've never seen his bedroom so clean. It's been miraculous, we just don't know what happened, we've told you. You've been a total ray of sunshine to our son. <laughs> and it was truly deeply love you. And we just wish you all the best. There were multiple times where we would be having dinner as a family and Dad would say to Joe and I, when you get married, 
I'm going to fly a clarinet player over from Greece for you. Dad loved music and especially, of course, the clarinet. It is such a spe so special to have Theo here today playing the clarinet, the clarinet, as I know Dad is here in spirit, dancing on the tables. I'm having the time of my life. Everything is going on right. Ooh, I just made him look twice. This is how I feel. So I'm living that good, good life. I'm just living that good, good life. I'm just living that good. Good life. I'm just living that good, good life. Good, good life. Yeah.